Hey guys, Do It On A Dime here. So I said in my previous blog video that I was going through and reorganizing all of our files and making them really nice and easy to access. And I'm so happy with how it turned out. It's a self-cleansing system. Um, I don't know how your files look at home. Maybe yours are like really neat and you go through them frequently so they don't get really messed up. But literally how it used to be with us is I would have these like big, thick file folders. I mean, these things were like busting at the seams. So I would like go to the doctor, you know, my insurance would, like, a couple weeks later send, um, like, a note or a, what do you call it, um, explanation of benefit sheet home, and I would open it up and say, okay, here it is, and I would stick it into my medical folder. And then when I went to the dentist, I would stick it into my medical folder. And then when I had any medical stuff, I would stick it into my medical folder. So what ended up happening was these folders would get super giant because, yes, you need to keep all that information, but at some point you need to purge it out. So it was awful. And then, like, every couple of years you have to sit down and spend, like, hours going through and being like, oh, I need this. Da, 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 da. Bad news. <laughs> so I wanted to get a filing system that wasn't like that. And that's when I found the Freedom Filer. I did a bunch of research online on different um, organization systems. Um, and then this one kept coming up as one that was really, really good. And then a girl that I'm subscribed to, Alejandra Costella, and she has a YouTube channel who I'll link below um, called um, Color Coded Organizing. I think that's her business name, actually, but I love her video. She's awesome. Um, and she was somebody who also used this system. So I was like, okay, a lot of people are recommending this. Let me see if I can give it a try. So. Um, if you're thinking about reorganizing your files or you think my files are really crazy and I need to reorganize them, then I would say this video is for you, but I'm just going to walk you through from the beginning, like what my files look like before, how they work now, and why this is a completely no maintenance system. This is our filing cabinet before. So, um, I got this a while back at... Office Max, but these are all of our files. Um, all the folders are different colors, and it just, it's, they're really, really packed and full, and it's really difficult to find things in here. So there's that drawer. This drawer's pretty messy, too. These ones are a bit cleaner. This is from like college and stuff, so I don't really access them very frequently. These are my husband's files, and, um, you know, it's just, we want to kind of combine them to be into one giant file since we are now married. And then more files down here, important documents, and then just some other junk in the, in the back. And then over here is where I have been keeping all of my coupons in this giant bin with some extra manila folders. So I want to find a way to better organize this. So there you go. The before of the filing cabinet. So this is our filing cabinet now, and I'm going to kind of walk you through how this system works. So um, my husband's filming. Hi. <laughs> there you go. Um, so anyway, what I did was I just went through and I labeled the outside of each of the cabinets with um, my label maker. So this contains monthly statements, current taxes, and permanent files. And here is what the system looks like. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> so up in the front, I have information about the Freedom, freedom Filer system. So you can just kind of go through and um, see what you need to do and how you need to organize. This is what makes the system completely maintenance free. Typically when like we did our files before, we had a folder for credit card statements. We had a folder for water bill. We had a folder for heating. And that is a bad way to organize because they just pile up and then you have to go through and sort them for later. You really don't need those files for more than two years, which is exactly what this system does. So what I have here is January through December for an even year, so this year. And anytime I get a petty receipt, like a bill or a medical invoice or that sort of thing, I put it in here. Um, and that goes all the way through December. Then, once the year is over, I take these files and I transfer it with these files, which are the odd year that hold the exact same stuff. So these come up here. And when this 
um, when these come up here to this top drawer, everything that was in here before is now purged out of that system. So therefore, you never have to sit there and look for receipts. Um, I think on the packaging it said, like, of all the files you file, you only are going to probably use about 10% of it, and you want to make it easy to find. And usually you can remember back around the month that you did something, and so that's kind of how you can find the receipt. So anyway, it just constantly is recycling itself, so it works really well. So basically, if you take out all of that paperwork, you're left with just the main basic stuff that needs to be permanently filed, which... Um, the Freedom Filer does that in red, so you can see it's got auto records, education records, health records, dental, vision, um, pet, vital records, etc. And I've gone through and labeled these with a K and a C, um, so my husband and I know, you know, which is which. And for certain ones, for example, I'll show you guys the vital records. Um, each of these, you know, will have manila folders inside. So this one is Charlie's, this one is mine, and this one is like family um, you can see that for our marriage certificate and stuff like that. Um, so certain ones, like I said, will have manila folders. But this is the stuff that never gets taken out of the system. The things that go in here are things that we need to keep for a long period of time, not the things that go in the monthly folders. So social security cards, you know, dental records and x-rays or, um, you know, your blood draws and that kind of work that you want to keep for a long period of time. So yeah, that's like the red section. Then, this is in my second drawer, it takes you to an orange section. And the orange section are things that you put something in, you take the old one out. And a perfect example of that is going to be health insurance. When I get my health insurance packet and I take the old one out. So this is a self-cleansing system, so these files are never going to get really huge. Um, I also have some other purple ones. These are, you know, things for, like that are resource files that do the same thing. And then there's also an entirely separate section for taxes, and they're organized by year zero, so because it's 2012, we would be in year two. So that's kind of how these work. Um, and, oh, one other thing. These are like tax documents for odd year. My husband works from home, so he uses these frequently, and this is for the even year. So the same thing with these documents. Once it goes with your tax stuff, then you're completely all done with it. So as you can see how consolidated this system is, I'm so excited. I have like an entire empty drawer of nothingness right now. And I'm sure when we have kids, you know, we can expand this, you know, down into the filing system. And then, if you guys remember, I used to have my coupons next to the filing cabinet. Now I have them in the filing cabinet. Because when I print coupons, I'm usually doing it here. And yes, there's a nerdy little shopping cart on it. I'm such a nerd. My husband's laughing at me. He loves it. Okay, so, and you can see, th these are not as pretty as the other ones. I mean, this system is just one that's been working for me. And I plan to do a video on how I do coupons and, like, make it manageable because it's something that um, saves our family a lot of money. But um, anyway, so these are the, the system that I use here. It's all in one drawer. And then, it's not in here now because I just went shopping, but I usually keep like my little booklet that I take with me back to. Oh, are you zooming on that? Oh, are you zooming on that? Um, with the store with me, I usually put that in the back of the drawer. So anyway, I think it turned out really well. I'm so happy with this system. I think it works for our family, and it's low maintenance because, I kid you not, we have to show them. We must show them. The bags of all the paper that we took out. These are the bags full of paper that we purged from this system. I'm not even kidding. It was crazy. And I never want to have to go sit through and purge another system again. So that's why I'm so excited with this. If you use Freedom Filer, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think if you like it. That's all I've got. So see you guys next time. Bye.